Okay guys, let's get the Volkswagen buggy up here. We need to do some cleaning. Basically what we did yesterday was we polished that puppy up. That looks so good, oh my gosh. Went from that to that. So I'm debating on what we're gonna do today. I think we should fix the brakes, that way we can actually drive this, but yeah, I guess we'll fix the brakes. Basically what happened is I was driving the car yesterday, or well, two days ago, and the master cylinder, basically there's these valves on either side that connect to the front two tires that you can flip off the front two tires basically and only have rear brakes when you slam on the brakes basically but that is sketchy so we are going to be taking out those valves because they are leaking and hopefully that just solves the whole problem and then we bleed the brakes and we make sure that one doesn't lock up because yesterday that tire just locked up with the brake on obviously you guys just saw that it doesn't lock up right now but we just want to make sure that doesn't happen again so Let's take this apart and just fix those valves. Hopefully it's just a simple fix and it's not that fast, or it's not that slow. First things first, let's go get our thingies to take apart those valves. Okay, so we have just removed both of those valves. See how both those valves are now out of there. That looks a lot better. And then I also found some of this AutoZone brake cleaner that one of my friends left at my house. So I basically just sprayed all the brakes because it says it's supposed to like, I don't know, eat away at it. So. We're gonna hope that that kind of works. Next, we're gonna, we just topped off the fluid. Let's just pump the brakes and hopefully we get some brake pressure back. Fluid just came from underneath somewhere, so we must be leaking from somewhere. Let's see where it is. Okay, so we just did a nice little brake test and basically I found out that I don't have any front brakes and they were clogged and the lines were broken, long story short. So we are going to head over and go get some brake lines from Paradise Motorsports, it's over in San Marcos. So we're gonna go pick that up and then we're gonna go replace this brake line that I totally just cut. Okay guys, we basically just got back from Paradise Motorsports. We have this really nice brake lines. Hello, I almost went stainless but then I chose not to because they were like 20 more dollars and I know what you guys are thinking it's only 20 dollars but then it's like you also have to get the fittings and the way I see it is the more fittings you have the more areas where things can go wrong you know so basically I decided to not do that but I got new these like little fitting things too so that'll be nice to have nice new ones for brake bleeding so Without further ado, we are going to install our new brake lines. Yay! Yeah! And then we'll have four brakes. Look how clean and pristine that is. Oh my gosh. And I got a good deal. It was only like $11. Okay. First things first, let's screw this puppy in. Now let's do the other side. Okay, now it's time to do some brake bleeding. So, first things first. I know what you guys are thinking. You're like, oh my gosh, he got so much done. Well, no, not really, I didn't because I literally spent all that time trying to fix it and as you guys might have expected, it didn't really work. So, we're back on square one. I think I'm gonna just take it in tomorrow to have them look at the oil thing I've bled it like 10 times seriously 10 times and right now the seams that the problem that I'm having is hold on oh I'm sorry guys it seems that the problem I'm having is that it basically just wants to like I have to pump the pedal 10 times in order to get pressure but everything is bled out there's no air in the lines the only thing I can think of is that there might be air trapped in the master cylinder in the brake cylinder so all right thank you guys so much for watching today's video I will see you guys tomorrow in the next one and with nothing left to say I guess it's time to end it oh by the way you should hit that subscribe button because I've been daily for about six months now just saying okay goodbye too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help, I don't need opinions, so don't waste my time then. I just been living online, my city don't show me no love and that's fine. Fuck local radio stations, I got more plays than all of these rappers combined. I'm going, I'm going again, I've been going in, I'm fed up with so many things. I gotta just let it all out, I'm talking about the shit they've been talking about. Telling me I should do this, 